Welcome to the finale of Sales of Symphonia: Dawn of the New World. Hey, look, Finally. we got, almost, hey, look, we got, fi hey, look, we we got life size, we got life size figurines. They're fifty bucks each. Oh yeah. Yeah, look where everyone. Thank God, everyone coincidentally warped to the same location. Though I have to point this out. They said they kept saying, and I remember in uh, the previous part they kept saying, "Oh, Lloyd has Mar has Martel protection," or as I like to call it, plot relevant armor. My question <laughs> is, shouldn't Colette have that same thing? I was yeah. And if Colette has it, then that would mean Zelos would have it too. No, I'm <laughs> saying, since I'm saying that Lloyd and Colette are like the only ones who ever actually physically Man, saw Martel, so ah. Uh? Well, that's true. So, but I'm saying if if even if they try to do a bullshit thing off like, well, Colette's the chosen and she has it too, then at that in that same logic, then Zelos would have it because he's the chosen of the other one. It was as if I was in no, a straight just, jacket just, and I couldn't move at all. Also, I was made of stone. You all had the pe I'm sorry. You all had the Tanuki suit on. My mistake. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Mio just touched and you. Mar he did you touch see, damage. You just see Mario. You, you just look at the background. You see Mario with a giant set with a giant set of Tanuki leaves in his. <laughs> To run away. <laughs> 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 or you feel like you know, like Mario and like you feel like everyone's frozen in fear over my awesomeness because I have a better game Regal, than you, you guys have no do. Where, you have no room at all. You did nothing at all at all. It looks like everyone's I just he did he accomplished more than per se. I'm true. just saying you've done nothing okay, of interest in this entire game. Nothing. <laughs> He still has more. He still is more interesting than. <laughs> and Perseo. also, stop defending Emil. His entire game pretty much is his fault to begin with. So let's move on. <laughs> that's why they. That's why everyone needs to help Emil stop Richter, even though half of this, even though half the group has no real reason to fight Richter at all. <laughs> ah, screw that. Let's just Sparta kick him off this platform. No, half of these people oh, have no oh, reason to Before you to start talking, it's, it's all, downhill all downhill from here. All downhill from How here. How freaking fitting. <laughs> <laughs> all downhill from here. They should have put this skit at the beginning of the game. It just shows him, it's just like, <laughs> it's just like, yep, nah, it's it. all downhill from here. <laughs> I kind of wanted, wanted to see an ugly particle skit. <laughs> <laughs> Once there was an ugly barnacle. He was so ugly that everyone died. <laughs> the end. Yeah. Viewers, take a look at the amount of time that's on this part. Yeah, I, I am so sorry, but this game, this game's finale, really is this fucking. Also, long. I looked at it before. It's completely bogus. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, Luigi wanted to make sure. Like, the majority of this has been blind from Luigi, but he intentionally wanted to see this first just because he had he, he just wanted to realize what he was getting himself into. Uh, and gather his thoughts and all that. I think he made a mistake. Yes, I did. I, I watched that and I felt like I was reliving Sonic 06 again. That's how bad it was. That's pretty fucking bad. Yeah, that's pretty bad. So this will be the only. So aside from like the first four parts, this will be the first non-blind segment for Luigi. Eh. Golem, I know you're the team mascot, but I need a guy oh, that's mean. actually useful. Aw, <laughs> uh, poor Golem gets sidetracked for no reason. It's like, oh, I'm, so I'm sorry, you can't flex your muscles against the final boss. If sorry, Zangie. I wouldn't sorry, have put Zangie. her in maybe next Marta time. would have actually learned more than one healing <laughs> spell. Sorry, Zangies, maybe next time. Maybe next time. <laughs> if they bothered to give Marta more than one or two healing spells... Or at least one healing spell that heals everybody and not just one person, then I wouldn't have bothered. Hello, uh, hello. Oh, by the way, yeah, we got to find Aqua's Aqua. Strange cat lady thing for some reason. The uh, the only bo the only boss fight before Richter that makes any fucking sense in this place. It's kind of sad. <laughs> also, I wanted yes. to bring, I wanted I mean, to bring this up when I... we first met Aqua's. Why is she a cat? Uh, because fan Why service, I guess. Furry. No, she's like Furries. a cat, a little bit of a, no pun intended, catfish thing. I'm kind of expecting Perse to clomp that thing. She's a faunist. Yeah. No, I'm, I'm kind of expecting, um, <clears throat> I'm kind of expecting Perse to just run up and just football tackle that thing. <laughs> she's like, oh my <laughs> god, honest. where are your paw pads? Aqu <laughs> Aqua's a, yes. no, no, Muichi, Aqua's a faunist. <laughs> Same thing. <laughs> <laughs> Same thing would happen. Faunists are not furries! Same thing would happen, I'm sorry. Wait, if Aqua's a faunist, would that make 
Richter. No. Oh god damn, no, no, I'm not even gonna dignify that with a response. <laughs> uh, if I, let's see, Faunas are like cat, are like semi furry, so I don't think it honestly counts. And I'm like, would that make Richter? That would make Richter. No, Richter would not be Roman. Fuck that. Can I put no, in real quick? not even close. Are you serious? Are you just? Can't you see? Eh. So he's willing to open the portal to hell just to revive the one guy that Emil is imitating right now. Buddy, buddy, yes. I don't think you thought your cunning plan all the way through. AKA, let's rip off the theme of Full Metal Alchemist. I'm willing to kill a million people to revive one dead person. That is pretty. This is like he's trying honestly, to make a philosopher's like when it comes stone. To between it. like uh, Richter and. Aster, this is like rom romance taken up to eleven. It's 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 the plot to Full Metal Alchemist. Oh, by the way, yeah. Dragon. And by the way, we're gonna fight it's the Alchemist, Hydra from Hercules. Alchemist, and she turns Except into a Hydra. Not as threatening. <laughs> I don't know why she turns into a Hydra. She just does. And uh, no, no, okay, no. never mind. Hydra this battle's finished. pointless. No, I'm speeding it up. <laughs> if it was actual. If it was actually, like, physically her, then I would have not sped it up, but... and then this would have been, like, even longer. But, like, this is... <clears throat> they build up this thing with Aquan. It's, like, the most boring fucking battle ever. Not to mention, you're really going through at her, like, n it's nothing. Like, I'm a fish, I'm yeah. a fish. Uh, Does she even have me. a mystic art at all? She doesn't, then this is fucking she pointless. One. She's basically just a normal monster. Yeah, and you will. <laughs> with region. Yeah, yeah. Did like, did you want to hit up? Yeah. <laughs> She's basically a normal monster with region. It died. Derp, herp, derp, I'm a herp, derp, I'm a hydra. By the way, I thought. <laughs> because by the way, what? What the hell? What the hell is going to ha is going to holding? Uh, the ma the material no, they're blades. They're the not material no. blades. Good enough. Compared to what? The, compared to how they look in the first game, that not even close. Maybe they're the Kusanagi blades. No, because then he'd be t then he'd be t then he'd be gunning Aquas like nothing. She no, like literally gunning Aquas and then know. using it for like a fur coat or something. Now she herself has also been hurt by the battle. <laughs> Aqua. She turned her own butt. No, she did not turn. Well, actually, no, she did turn her own. I'm just being, I'm just saying. <laughs> if Lloyd was having if Lloyd so held the Kusanagi blades, you'd be using no one else. <laughs> I know. <laughs> Anyways, Aqua loved Richter. Gee, nobody saw that coming. No also, fucking also, shit. I, I kind of want to bring this up, but um, eh, I'll wait. Actually, give it about forty yeah, seconds. I'm waiting. I'm waiting. I want the power of water, damn it! Because the power of water is so useful. <laughs> you know, yeah, because look at Captain Planet. For me. Okay, but aren't you going to make oh, if this. With her? Oh, wait, 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 wait. If this oh, wait, were wait, Secret wait, of wait, Mana, wait. then I would get more heat. Listen to this one. To hatch her, and then form a pact with her right now. Uh, no. <laughs> no. You know, you I kind of want to bring this up. So you mean you feel sympathy for her, um, and not all the other centurions you hatched as soon as you killed them? Uh, you know, all the uh, all those ones that are there, uh, I don't think they had any personality at all. So I didn't even know any of them. Exactly, so who cares? Oh, we, oh, we, 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 you know what's funny? Bitch. You know what's funny? They say I want to bring this up. That's hilarious. Um, they say, "Oh, let's not hatch it." And right as this cutscene ends, they hatch it anyway. So, what was the point? <laughs> <laughs> well, you don't actually hatch it. You just have the core, which apparently gives you Aqua's ability. And again, all of the Centurion abilities are are fucking useless. And what don't equip they, um, them. Uh, okay, we just. Welcome to PS2 uh, era. Okay, we just step okay, we stepped to the Halo 4 beta. I must admit my own <laughs> All I could say though is like, you oh, know I'm sorry, when I should Tenebrae say Halo 4 story mode. You know beta. how when Tenebrae got like injured and then he was forced to go all the way to the Temple of Darkness to recover? Mm -hmm. the, yeah, why doesn't Yeah, why doesn't that happen that's with That's a good Aqua? question. How come Aqua like, didn't you know transfer back to Yeah, yes. we go on. Yeah. No, see, Aqua, he, you got a good point. We just beat up Aqua and turned her back into a core. Why didn't the core warp back to Thoda Geyser? Because Thoda Geyser's not even there. Huh. Well, Remember, actually, it kind of just, it kind of just blew up. Did we forget about that? Oh, yeah. <laughs> but that's a good, that's a good point, though. But still, her core should just be in the rubble of where Thoda Geyser is. So, yeah, it would kind of warp there and be like, well, shit. They <laughs> <laughs> go over there. You, see, you go over there, you see Undine, it's like, oh, fuck. What? 
time for the final battle after this pointless cutscene of Tenebrae yelling. Yeah. We know! We can see the fucking door! It's a giant egg. That's where the Ganunga Gap Yeah, what's gonna hatch it? What's gonna hatch Eggman. it? I thought we were in the Ganunga Gap. You know what's it's funny? I, I look at that, and I look I look at that egg, and I kind of expect Magmar to, to hatch out of it at any time. It'd <laughs> <laughs> be like, the final boss is a giant Magmar, and like, oh shit. <laughs> that would be awesome! To answer your, <laughs> to be so much better than what we get. <laughs> <laughs> to answer your question, Logic, we are technically... Technically, we were walking through it. That's the ent. That is the. That's Nibelheim. Okay. Or that door. That door right there is Ganunga Gap. Okay. You know what? Just, this like... just. You know what? Just scrap the name. Just call it hell. Yeah, we're we're going into I hell. I know. That's why I kept calling. That's why I kept calling this place Nibelheim because it's just Nibelheim. Just, get, just scrap the name. Just call it that. Okay. Thank you. <laughs> I got. I got. Like we're finally here. Marta Tenebrae. Thanks. The other vets are like, oh, fuck you. <laughs> I was like, well, technically we you didn't. Well, technically we didn't do anything. So whatever. <laughs> we're just we're just here for commentary. Lloyd at least did something. <laughs> Lloyd did the least amount out of everybody, like in terms of helping out Emil and Marta. <laughs> and he's like, all like Lloyd. Gee, Everyone I else. Like, I want to hold back, even if I'm fighting a half. I want. Off. All right, all right. That's just it. I, went, I heard this quote coming up, and it kind of confuses me. It's like, it's like you're, you weren't even there. <laughs> we can't break our promise. To... Technically, they were all there. Uh, maybe I'm forget. Maybe I'm. Maybe I'm being forgetful. I don't know. They s they were there when Martell was inside Colette's body. Uh, it... Well, no, I'm, I'm pretty sure they're person, implying so. that right after Lloyd and Colette met with Bartell at the end of in the person, season 21, by the way, like they probably like maybe caught a glimpse of Martell. Or no, maybe I'm no, I shit. saw that. No, I saw that entire scene. They were nowhere there. They were nowhere found. Well, that's because Ma that's because Lloyd and Colette were flying in the air. Everyone else was on Darius car <laughs> It's like, hey, you assholes! You forgot us. What the hell are we supposed to do? <laughs> again, welcome. Oh, I'll skydive. Wee! Hello, PlayStation Two graphics. It's like, Jesus, what the? Like, well, let's skydive. Look how much of a downgrade these graphics are compared to the rest of the game. Skydive. <laughs> this level, lo this area looks like it should be in Tales of the Abyss. Look at that fire! It looks terrible. Jesus. It looks like fog. No. <laughs> it, it's red fog. <laughs> it looks terrible. It feels like it should be in Tales it's of like the burp, Abyss. Like burp. Oh, excuse me. Uh, sorry. There's there's now fog. There's now red fog everywhere because my burp. Sorry. God damn it. Also, I like that. I like well, this coming up. This, uh, this actually made me laugh pretty you hard. <laughs> this part coming up. This actually made me laugh pretty hard. I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> Uh, turning the entire world I get what they're trying to do with it. <laughs> turning the entire world into hell to revive your best friend. I don't think you thought your cunning plan all the way through. <laughs> See, it's the plot of Full Metal Alchemist all over again. Uh, he's getting now, a Super Saiyan Richter... you dare tell me what to do. Richter's going you Super Saiyan no, he's going. So, no, he's going just normal Super Saiyan, which isn't a big deal. Oh, no God, Saiyan. someone get the fire extinguisher! I'm on fire! <laughs> <laughs> I'm on fire! <laughs> oh no, I'm fire! <laughs> God damn it. Also, also... And here's the final boss, Richter. He's not any different from the last time you fought him, other than the fact that he has a cloak made Also, he looks like a bitch in Majorly. Oh, jeez. He, he looks really, like a high-res really version of a... No, I'm not gonna lie. He looks like a high-res version of a mission with du dual-wielding, uh, stuff. Uh, yeah, with dual-wielding of... At least he looks better than the mission that's in the HD remake. <laughs> He's literally a what, Super, Super Saiyan? Saiyan 3 Abyssian? What's that? Honestly, I would've preferved that. <laughs> Yellow-haired Abyssian? Honestly, I would've preferved that. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> at least I can laugh at that. <laughs> Anyway. That, and the, that, and the, that and the final boss music's kind of awesome, uh, too. I, ne I never really cared for music in Tales series. It's all just ant generic opera. Most of it. I, 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 your, your music taste is different. That's perfect. That's why fine. I have this video muted right now. <laughs> God damn it. Well, yeah. I, like, see, I'm doing a decent job of things yeah. here. Yeah, look at you can't... <laughs> but that doesn't mean shit. Like, see, I'm stunlocking. See, you can't like, stunlock like, bosses. Shank! Shank! Just... Shank! 
<laughs> it's like shit. shit. It's like, boss like shit, 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 shit. So right now I'm like I'm not, I'm not doing that bad. I'm got him about a quarter. I got like a quarter of his health down already. It's not too it's like, bad. Shit, and, shit, I mean just shit, just watch. Shit, shit, shit. <laughs> see, shank, see, shank, see, shank, see, shank. <laughs> stun lock bosses. It's just not as easy to do half the shank, time. Shank, shank, shank. you want? God fucking damn it. My question is, why couldn't it be like this th throughout the entire game? No, it's not. <laughs> it's just that I was sucking and not being able to do it. Uh, no, it was not, but eh, I'll leave it at that. I mean, it's physically possible to stun oh, like hey, every boss Oh, hey, oh, hey, look at that. Uh, spontaneous yeah, healing. Like and now you understand why this battle takes so long. He just healed 1,500 HP. Oh, hey, hello there, Mystic Guard. And hello, instant, out of nowhere. instant Mystic Guard. Yay, because that's totally fair. Well... I will give him the no. benefit of the doubt of being the final boss. That's the only leeway I'll give this. Uh, it's funny because, like, because in the, it's the ta final boss, the, I uh, really I the don't first want boss to. that introduces Mystic Arts, like, like the way Exilia works, it does have an overlimit system, but you have to like charge it up, like after a few like Link arcs. But with the boss, he instantly goes into overlimit, and he can just use his Mystic Art whenever the fuck he feels like. <laughs> so, okay. Yeah, it's kind of bullshit. And here, boy, this fit. No, what's and, bullshit also, is just. Also, boy, this looks familiar. Thank you. Yeah, it looks like uh, every single boss encounter we've had so far. Yeah, pretty much. <laughs> you have to. You have two. You have two dingbats who don't do anything and die. So you just spent. You spent the entire time running around in circles the entire time. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> this honestly feels no different from any of the other bosses. No, and not, not even that. It's no different from every time that I've fought Richter. Yep. The only difference is he's like twice as strong as he was the last He's time. twice as strong. You can't use Ein Soul Power, and even if you could, he won't... No, he Richter. Would, he would, he would, he would, he would can't counter it anyway. Yeah, but though that's the thing. Richter is absolutely no different. All they did was like double his double stats. Double his stats and put him on fire. Everything's the same, but now it's on fire. Yeah, <laughs> as I like, basically as I like, all right, come on up before I turn this place to. He is extremely smart though. He's like, oh, I'm just gonna go right after freaking Rain the second she revives because I can apparently just like, do that. It's like this. Well, all right, all right, all right come on up before I turn this thing to a burning glass land. So basically the same, just on fire. <laughs> <laughs> You Jesus, know what, everyone's by, gone. You know, I think you're better off just not bothering. With the, with the... I want to at least keep Marta alive because well, she can I'm heal well, me. Well, I, I met everybody. I met everybody else. Yeah, I know. After, at this point, I started realizing, you know, reviving Rain and Lloyd isn't doing jack shit. Why are you even here? Couldn't you, or couldn't you get uh, Marta to revive everyone else and then you just keep Richter busy? But... Richter keeps trying to. Richter keeps attacking her while she's casting. Like, but you can, uh, That's like, the problem. Why are you even? And the other big problem. Look at Richter healing 1500 like, HP every couple why are you seconds. Even here. Uh, 1500. 1500. Uh, and how did that even hit you? There we go. See stunlock. Great. And then watch this and. Uh, Come on, come on. Okay. No, this is good. I'm like, come on. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you, Rain. You actually did something useful, even though it didn't help much. <laughs> <laughs> it's still something. It helped me. It helped me. It didn't help Lloyd, because he's already <laughs> dead again. <laughs> he died nah, the okay. moment you did that. Nah, okay. You're like, Lloyd, I'll say... Ah, fuck. Oh, well, may as well keep going. <laughs> nap time. <laughs> 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 it's like, I don't feel like participating anymore. I'm just going to take a nap. Stop blocking with your goddamn super armor, you jackass. You should have been dead by yeah, it's now. Like, it's like, eh, screw it. I don't care about this plot anymore. I'm going to take a nap. <laughs> <laughs> he would have been dead by now if for some reason I wasn't not damaging him. Eh? And now I see, like, the weird aura around him and, like, his super armor thing that he apparently got. And I'm like, why does he you have know, that? Because, yes. Link and I kind of missed that. There's like little smoke around him that's giving him like super armor. I thought it's like, just because he was on fire. <laughs> <laughs> you know what? Just replace every word we say with just what the he's on fire. <laughs> Monster Throw Jam! It. And speed up because hey, random frick. He used his Mystic Guard again. Speed up. This battle just keeps going Jesus. and yeah, going. Yeah, I saw it. It goes on for going. like 10 minutes straight. God Practically. damn! Yeah, I'm sorry, but yeah, there's, there's no reason the... why... Yeah, he's almost dead, and I had to speed this I'm up. I'm sorry, but there's that. 
Think about that. He had only like 500,000 HP left. I'm sorry. If they were that much, then and I'd I have be to really speed worried. this up. I'm sorry, but there's really no reason for a boss, for a boss to even have to take this long and all. If your boss takes this long, there's some serious problems here. And more Mystic it's Guardians. Mystic even arts. still, he used his Mystic Art three times, and his Mystic Art takes like two and a half minutes Again, to go through. Again, still, that's. Uh, it's like, there's no reason for it to take 10 minutes straight. I agree. And absolutely no excuse can cover for that. None. I'm not de I'm not defending okay. this this form of of boss fighting. Especially a final boss. It, it seems yeah. really underwhelming. Yeah. This is why this this is why this part is as long as it is because this boss battle took like 10 fucking minutes. Actually, it, it. it literally did almost take 10 minutes in all honesty. Five times. He used his mystic art five times. About fucking time. Five. Oh, yeah. That's insane! Jeez, you still get experience. And keep in mind, I was level 59! What's that ambition? You think... What's that ambition can do is right Mr. Garden many times he wants? Ah, 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 watch me! <laughs> keep in mind, I'm this... I was at a level where when you fight Mythos at that level, you win with no trouble at all. Yeah. And even then... <clears throat> and even then, the setup is just, you know, good. Actually, looks nice. There's no reason for that boss fight to have taken 20 minutes. He's all, look it's at like, me. Alright, I'll magic. just go ahead and ma All right, I'm gonna match up the Chaos Emeralds here, don't mind me. <laughs> I'm just gonna summon Perfect Chaos. God damn it! <laughs> Perfect Chaos is made of water. Super I you can't do that. Don't. Like, no, that's the perfect thing. Let's summon Perfect Chaos in hell. God damn it! <laughs> You'll evaporate. <laughs> so the demons are like, fuck it, we'll open it anyway. Here. It's like I forgot my Taco Bell gift card. Here's my. A By the way, here's my ass pull. Here's my ass pull. My ass pull plot device. By the way, you know why I was trying to kill you. Here's the thing that you can use to prevent what I was just trying to do. <laughs> exactly. My ass pull. Here's my ass pull plot device. Yes, that's right. The stone. That <laughs> He's like I wasn't actually planning on opening the door to hell. I was going to use this to seal it. No, you fucking. It's weren't. like this stone pretty much makes you n what you normally are, but it just puts you on fire. You were flat out using the power of hell to fight against us 20 okay, minutes ago. This While on fire. Here comes a quote. Here comes a quote that I want to counteract because, in all honesty, it makes no sense. The crystal, Not this one. Chosen, <laughs> because but we can already say that no one's doing anything. Uh, this quote here, this Impressive. quote right here. Has the to stop its host's clock uh, no. No, it didn't. You just made that up. Yep. <laughs> you just flat out made that up. <laughs> you, wanted, you, know what they you know how they explained it in the first game? <laughs> Crucius, Crucius Crystals give you the ability to enhance, to change your growth and shit. It ain't yeah. grant you eternal life. Well, they, it's in a, I mean, in a way eternal life, but the way they see it here, they it make it seem like you live forever. I'm like, no, you don't. Your consciousness just goes in the no, crystal. You can pretend and to live anyone forever because you can be as young it. or as old as you want. You're technically not. Crucius crystals make you into angels, which makes you be able to be as young or old as you want. If I wanted to, I could be an angsty teenager. <laughs> Nathos explains that in the finale of the first By the first way, game. I kind of want to bring this roller. up. I like how Light is the only veteran doing anything at this finale. Everybody else is just in the, everybody else yeah, in the I background. I expect, I expect to look at them with, like, beach chairs and popcorn. <laughs> oh, look. Ratatosk is waking up. Who saw this I, uh, coming? I don't believe you. I don't believe you. Well, that's Johnny Young Bosch. No, I don't believe you. <laughs> hey, Ratatosk has green eyes. What uh, the like fuck? Like I said, don't believe you. Uh, why can am I pretending? Can you just please stop doing that? I will regain all of my power. <laughs> why am I pretending? It's not Ratatosk. It, if you've played this game for more than two minutes, yeah, it's pretty obvious. <laughs> yeah. I can't breathe. I can see what they were trying to do. I said. And it would have been clever if they did it Except right. They didn't. Football tackle! <laughs> also, also, <laughs> on the 40 also, yard I line! Love how, I love how, after all that, like, how much damage did we even actually do to Richter if he was able to get up after all get that? Get up just and to tackle the one who, who tried killing him. Football tackle on the 40 yard line! Apparently, oh. all of our fighting. See, 
Richter's apparently the most badass in this entire game, because even after we beat the living shit out of him while using the power of hell, he can still get up again, and get away. Because, again, like, I want to mention how nobody's doing anything. Nobody in the back's actually doing anything. They just, I just, I expect to look, I expect to get a close up back there and, look, know, and see like them pulling up beach chairs and with popcorn, the little popcorn stand and everything. I'm so sorry. <laughs> I get just. It's like, well, well, it's like, well, it's like, well, we're here. May as well enjoy the show. Stop me from disappearing. <laughs> that isn't enough to stop. It's like, are you sure this is the right channel? Uh, we're watching teen drama. No, Crap. You can't give up. Damn it, Corinne! You you can't even do you can't even seal away Satan. What good are you? <laughs> you can't even seal away Satan. I mean, granted, we're kind of at the doorway to hell, but uh, still, I'm pretty sure he's faking it still. Can we just yeah. stop? Can we just stop pretending? So when are we gonna stop doing this? Me, myself, and Irene plot. Never. Apparently. Uh, that's the entire plot Don't. of the game. I know, but I'm just seeing it because I remember in me, myself, and Irene, like, he kind of had control of his one arm, but, like, the his other self was, like, still being able to, like, I don't know, he kept beating himself up. It was funny. Here's what they're Oi, saying. go out there. No, Marta, no, no, no. kill me before I turn into Ratatosk Oi, again. Go out there, kick him in the face. Do it. I finally got you out of the way. Do it. Well, why don't you just pick? Why don't you just pick him up and throw him off the side of the and throw him off the edge into the fire? No, here's a bad idea. Drop kick, him, drop kick him in there like a badass. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> That's what Mike Hagar would do. He's the mayor of Earth for a reason. <laughs> in fact, he'd probably throw a shark at him. <laughs> <laughs> By pile driving sharks. <laughs> Get Sanke if you know. Throw a bear at you. God damn it. Now be a good yes, but I want to fight you. Before. If you do, then I just might <laughs> spare your life. I thought we already gave him Aqua's core before we even went to fight. <laughs> uh, I think it's because he came into contact with it, and then Mar he let Marta have it, and he's just like, "Hey, somehow I still, still got her power." <laughs> What did you say? I love Emil's expression there, like, the fuck did you just say? I like his no, no, I actually like, I like this pose to be like, "Give me money, please." <laughs> he's like a he's, he's like a little ho he's like a I mini see Emil's poser, like <laughs> I just see Emil's poser, he's like wait did you just grow a spine at the end of the game <laughs> I know you grew a spine at the very end of the game you know what I should smack you for that so we're just gonna fight now, Marta here's right the clever thing about this game no nope, we're fighting Lloyd and Marta the thing that they did <laughs> here's the clever thing that they did you you think. I'm controlling Lloyd, but no, in fact, I am Emil, and if you want to get the No, good really, ending, you don't say. I, just... The health bar didn't give it away. Well, I honestly expected them to make me control Marta at this point. Uh, no, I if you did if you did that, you'd have a gigantic handicap. <laughs> <laughs> no, I was expecting to have to kill No, Emil. you'd have to, you know, if you had to control Marta, you'd have a gigantic handicap. You don't want that, trust me. I've had that ha I've died. I know. You're dead. It's not fun. Game over. To get nope. the good ending, you have to die yep. here. I was just trying to make it as exciting as possible. Boy, that's, not, cri said, oh, Boy, that's not cryptic at all. I thought you'd I thought you two would I thought you two would appreciate me beating the shit out of Marta for a few seconds. Yeah. <laughs> it was kind of worth it. Also, I kind of want to share a story with you guys about that. <laughs> yeah, I yeah. saw this on Gaff. <laughs> It was on NeoGaf. Um, someone actually complained about that very boss fight. It's like this should not have taken. They're like they're playing the game on new new game plus. Their meal was like level two hundred and had like ridiculous amounts of HP. When they got to this point, uh -oh. they said they left the game on. They left. They went to town, got Mc, like McDonald's or something, and like in like a quarter of the town, they came back. And meal's still alive with half health. God damn. <laughs> yeah. And now you see why I didn't play this on new game plus. <laughs> Because I didn't want to have to fast forward me trying to kill myself. <laughs> I am Ratatosk. <laughs> oh. <laughs> what are you guys glaring? No, you what are you guys eyes, glaring for? You didn't do anything. You're just talking like him. <laughs> what are you guys glaring for? You didn't. You've done nothing this entire time. You just stood there with beef chairs and popcorn, watching the entire time. Is that true? Is this? <laughs> no. Maybe they're all staring like, okay. I like when is this over so we can go I just, home? I was just like, go. wow, Emil, you really tried killing your own girlfriend while you being your conscious self? You're like, yes. You're fucked up, man. <laughs> Since I didn't show it off, if you do end up killing Lloyd and Emil, Why didn't Marta, you, sh you then... should show it off? That, was that would have been hilarious. 
I didn't have I didn't get a chance to record it. Me. Bullshit, you still did. And I Whatever. did it by force. I'm so ashamed. Do you really want one Hell more no. part of this? <laughs> I, have no I rest my case. After what I've done. Point is if you want the bad ending, you kill in me you kill Lloyd and Marta. In quote and marks. No, 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 because, uh... And then Emil freaks <coughs> out, because he's like, No, you were supposed to... Pretty much they tried pulling off a of Romeo and Juliet. Yep. Pretty much. Because then Emil turns himself into a sword. <laughs> Mar Marta wakes up, fr Marta wakes up, freaks out, she gets really depressed, and then in the... The Japanese version implies that she killed herself. <laughs> Everybody Logic. wins! Logic, high five across the internet. Yeah. <laughs> God damn it. And then set out to destroy mankind. Uh, and I was almost like, I want to, I want Tenebra to be like, uh, guys, you do know the door is still kind of going crazy right now, right? It's like, not enough time to be quoting some bullshit. <sighs> Hang on, I'll get the emergency break. I trust you in <laughs> It's it's like that episode of Ruby when the uh, Nevermore flies back and kind of like, um, guys, that thing's coming yeah. back. Shouldn't we do something? <laughs> <laughs> so, hang on, I'll get. Hang on, I'll just pull the emergency break. <laughs> you kids, right? You kids and your stupid bluff drum bullshit. <laughs> I know this is the the end of the game, so they have to have their big dialogue scene. But it's like, you do realize you came here to close the door to hell, and the door to hell is kind of opening right now. Nah, uh, I expect that, I expect that door to open and have Satan look like a pizza boy, pizza boy who's like, uh, pizza. Anyone wants it? All, <laughs> all that shit about believing in <laughs> yourself. Like, it's like I'm, I'm totally like not Satan. Of, it's like I'm totally not Satan at all. Like, I'm just some pizza boy. <laughs> I just imagine Lloyd telling him, he was like, "Don't believe in the me that believes in you. Believe in the you that believes in me." And the blah 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 reference. And I'm like, no, and no, no. He can't, no. Don't use that quote. That's a that quote's good. That's from a good yeah, game. Yeah, that's from Gorn Lagan. <laughs> you don't you don't want to compare the, you don't want to compare something good to something terrible. The the thing that's clever and that's supposed to be clever. That's supposed to be Gurn Lagan purposely being as cheesy as possible with still making it. This make is just off. cheesy while trying to be good, but in reality ended up being now bad. Now this but now this battle that's coming up right now is completely unfucking necessary. Wait, this is, this is the fight. I don't think I actually got to this point. He's talking to Ratatosk inside of himself, and he's trying to decide which one should stay and which one should go. <laughs> Do you actually get the fight? Yep. Oh dear. Hang on. Hang on, I'll bring it up. <laughs> yes, I have to. Here we go. And I sped it up, because fuck it. <laughs> This does not change the ending at Thank all. You, you can still lose. <laughs> you can still lose. It doesn't change the ending at all. Eh. Luigi, it's already over because I sped it up. I always thought that a weak little boy like you would be no match for me. <laughs> this journey has changed both of us. God damn it. I realize that. I need you. I need your strength. And now I realize for the first time. I'm hearing something. <laughs> I don't know why. I think it is Dwayne and Brando. I think it is Dwayne and Brando. Luigi, it's over already. I don't even think he's watching it. <laughs> All you gotta know is why were we in Asbel's mind and where the hell is Lambda? Muigi, get over here! <laughs> Why are okay, we in Asbel's mind, and where the hell is Lambda? <laughs> Muigi, I told you, like, there's no point in bringing up the Shadow Link, the the Dwayne and Brando Zelda 2 thing, because I sped up nope. that fight. It was over in like no, 10 it seconds. It still counted. <laughs> <laughs> I'm still keeping it. <laughs> That's fine. And I will trust you. If you lose, if you lose that fight, do you still get the bad ending? No. Nope. That that that's why I said that that fight is completely pointless because even if you lose, doesn't change a goddamn. He's looking at thing. the bottom of it. Was like, oh man, this shit's dirty. No, I'm like, he's like, he's looking at the bottom. It's like, hmm, made in China. 
<laughs> he's like, that explains a lot. No wonder this game is terrible. And he's like, made in China. Uh, no. no, no, he's like, made in China, just like this plot. <laughs> it's like, made in China. Well, shit. He's like, that explains a lot, actually. Well, that explains a lot. <laughs> uh, no, uh, brother. Hey, by the way, I have red eyes now. Did you notice? <laughs> Contact lenses. Can you believe yep. it? And here comes the plot. I will stab you with my hair. He's like, no, I'm just gonna kill oh, all of you. Oh, how nice of Ratatosk to not want to kill humanity. No, I'm just gonna kill all of you. <laughs> no, <laughs> you know what? You guys suck. I'm gonna go back to hell and kill everybody there. <laughs> That's essentially what he's saying. Like, no, I have to guard the door of hell now. You guys suck. So. <laughs> everybody else is like, uh... Way no, go, I'm looking Richard, at everybody. I'm looking at everybody else. And I'm like, uh, can we go now? Because uh, we get. It's like, can we go? Way it's go, like, can Richter, we go now? I got things to do. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> way to way to go, Richter. You broke the lock to the door to yep. help. <laughs> My bad. <laughs> and now he's regretting it. Like, why are you regretting it? That was your whole purpose. You wanted to open the door to hell to kill everybody. Why are you regretting it now? <laughs> because Namco. <laughs> Is it because? What, did us kicking the living crap out of you make you not want to open the door to De hell now? Defeat means friendship. <laughs> okay, let's just kind of not acknowledge that Tales of Fantasia comes after Tales of Symphonia 1. And this, and let's just ignore this game's existence altogether, please. No, seriously, for the love of God, ignore this game. No, they were saying, he's saying, like, mana didn't originally exist in this world. No, it fucking did! They even mentioned that in the beginning of Tales of Fantasia! So, I don't know, because yeah, in Fantasia, reason... mana was practically gone, so magic was, like, non-existent. No, say, they, in the beginning of Fantasia, they said mana used to exist in an abundancy, and now it doesn't that, anymore. Well, since this is a prequel, that it, it could explain why no. there's no magic in Fantasia. Or I can just chalk this up as being bad sequel, and we can just ignore the existence altogether, which is not, which is what I'm more than willing to do. Summon spirits too. I think what they're trying to say is like because, like he tries taking away it, he tries making it so mana isn't necessary for life to be existing for humans to live. So yeah. he made it so life can go on without mana. <clears throat> which is which I can kind of get. People have become so reliant on mana for existing that if mana were to not exist, humanity would just see he, all of humanity would just die because they don't know how to now live. Now the whole world it. in general would go on. Yeah, because apparently the entire planet exists because of mana. For some reason. And from there on, I will control the flow of mana. Yes, I said for some reason. Mana is the essence of life. That's what. Yes, I said for some reason. I don't care. Be my duty as overseer. As the other summon spirit of well, the I'm gonna. Well, it's time to my dedicate my life to watch. As overseer of other summon spirits and not existing outside the realm of this yeah. game. Fuck you, game. It's cut off from the Fuck you. Of mana, the you give them legitimately badass character. Fuck you. <laughs> what do you mean by and this is a. I get what they're trying to say <laughs> with this. What do you mean by decline? Like, oh, you know, like what happened between Silveron and Ted? They all lived back when we were relevant. It may be Bill. No, I'm getting what it's trying to say. It's supposed to imply, like, you know how... You know, the planet Earth is eventually going to just disappear. It might happen tomorrow, it might happen in a billion years, but eventually the sun's going to explode and Mercury, Venus, and Earth are going to be gone. There's nothing you can fucking do about it. <laughs> and that's what... <coughs> that's what I'm saying about this. Mine is going to be gone and eventually this world's just going to die. I don't know when. And, and that's why I'm hiding out in here, to get away from that. See you later. <laughs> like you know what? You, everybody dies. It's only it just it happens. You can't live forever. Even with <laughs> that's mana. why I'm hiding out in this hole so I can live forever. This See you later, losers. Be my true <laughs> <laughs> like everyone, it's like everyone eventually dies. What about summon spirits? No, we're immortal. That middle <laughs> finger extending. <laughs> like, a, but you said you just said everybody. Yes, everybody dies. I am a I'm not a human. <laughs> It's like, I'm a core, not a body. Wait. No, he's like, it's like he says that's like, I'm a core, not a body. Wait. <laughs> <laughs> it's 
Speaking of oh, cores... Oh, God! Uh, hi. Apparently, Ratatosk's core is no longer on Marta because Ratatosk is... No, is can we... Done. Did we already say also, that? Also, um... Also, um, you see that small cut there? That would be where the ending... That would be one of the points where the ending would just stop and it would go straight to the credits if you were to have done stuff wrong. <laughs> Here's how this game's quote-unquote bad endings are. is If you just don't do enough in the actual game, the, the main ending just randomly stops. Yeah. Eh? Oh. And then cuts straight to the credits. I won't ever forget you, Emil. <laughs> yeah, you'll forget. So like all nah, those random, well, you'll just forget the next like the, day. I'm sorry. <laughs> like, like, bow, like not bowing to Lloyd. If you don't do that, then it it makes the ending cinematics. It it makes this entire scene stop prematurely. That's kind of dumb. Yeah. It's very stupid because it makes like I don't underst I don't know what all the different points are that change the ending based on your choice. But again, most of the choices are extremely obvious as to which ones you need to do to get the best ending, so it's not too bad. Alright, where are my final thoughts? Because we need to get those ready. Uh, should, the credits should be coming <laughs> up soon. Uh, it's a yeah. it's like uh, almost a half page. My final thoughts are about half page I long. I'd have had the <laughs> to work with a so yeah. Like you. <laughs> Getting that out of the way. It's like, bitch! I never learned anything from you. <laughs> no, no. Hey, um, friends of the. Hey, hey, Genus. What about the other eight summon spirits you made friends with in the first He's game? Like, you, know, you made friends with summon what? spirits? Question mark. He's like, what the fuck is a summon spirit? What about all the summon spirits that Sheena? Ha they don't have any personality. What about all the summon spirits <laughs> Sheena? But I'm saying, like, all the summon spirits that Sheena had, you still kind of knew them. Uh, they don't have it. They te now what about uh, Corinne? No, let me cut you off there, because technically they don't have any personality, so it doesn't really do anything. <laughs> and what about Corinne? He never leaves his temple. What's he gonna do? So <laughs> what does he do in there all day? Just jack off. <laughs> <laughs> I don't believe we'll see each other again. No, we won't. It's all like, so we might or might not see each other someday. So I'll see you when I cross. He's like, well, fuck you too. He's like, uh, I'll see you in the next crossover. See ya. <laughs> <laughs> I'll see you in Tales of the World, where everyone picks me over you anyway. <laughs> and then it, they exit off to the side, and then off to the side, there's like a booth that says, "Pick up paycheck here." <laughs> God damn it. <laughs> It's like a gigantic line. <laughs> it's like, oh god damn it! <laughs> it's like, how much you do get? Two hundred dollars? Two fucking? I only got twenty. Is that? God damn like, it! Hey, how much? What would you get for Christmas? A rock? <laughs> Fuck! <laughs> uh, I called it. It's like I got a rock. I named him Steve. <laughs> oh. It's like how much? You, how much you get, Lloyd? Two thousand. Uh, Eat it, Marta. <laughs> Marta, I understand you're in love with him, but god damn it. This is going way too far. I'll just fuck already. That's he my could, point. He could have gotten some action before they closed the door forever. He's like, you know, I maybe you should have tapped that before it closed. And I was like, I'm like, good God, even Link in the Zelda cartoon wasn't this horny. Jesus Christ. <laughs> Ouch. At least Link in the Zelda cartoon only wanted to get the first base. I know, he couldn't even do that. It's like, and then the final line's like... And the final line's like, well, excuse me, princess. <laughs> <laughs> then the door closes. Oh, and once again, that could be that could be a point where the where the credits start. But still oh, little... shit. Where'd he come? Actually, I think <laughs> like it's just a fade to black. It's like, oh, wait, okay. we're back. Actually, no. That's the f yes. Here's where you can tell where it's supposed to end. You see how there was that massive fade out? That would be one of the many. That would be one of the points that this game, the where the ending would stop, depending on how poorly you did the actual game. Again, stupid. I suppose it's only fitting for a man who sold his soul to demons and who attempted to. You know, Richter, you're pretty nonchalant about the whole. Man, kind of sucks that I tried to destroy the world. Oh well, fuck it. I'm not sure how long my body will last. I need a jar of ice cream to show my emotions. Thousand years. He's all fucked. 
It it's like, well, we're stuck in. Well, there. No, oh, well, no, 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 no. I kind of want. Hey, hey, way to contradict yourself. You just said uh, no one knows when the world will end. It, will it may be, be necessary. To it may be tomorrow. Maybe a trillion years from now. No, like, nope, one thousand years. Well, he's not saying the world's gonna end. He's just saying mana won't be necessary in the world. In no, I kind of want to. I kind of want to imagine that. No, he. Yeah, he said in a. <laughs> I kind of want to imagine this. Like, well, we're both stuck in here. You want to do it? <laughs> <laughs> It is all like want to get the fangirls all God riled up. <laughs> that would be another cutoff point to the ending. I actually had that happen to me once before. <laughs> that image is now forever burned into your mind. He's <laughs> like, we've got to please the fangirls somehow. Uh, okay, no, but you know, logic. You're right. He just said it's gonna take. He just said it's gonna take a thousand years for Ratatouk to absorb all life out of all living things in the well, world. Well, not all life, just the mana from all life. So that way, life well, can go on without yeah, it. It's gonna take him a thousand years to drain mana out of the world. We centurions and monsters would be happy. At least let me rip off your dick. Under your orders. <laughs> what? <laughs> <laughs> no, and see, here's the deus, here's the deus ex machina. Apparently, Richter is gonna trade places with Emil so that Emil could leave. Well, that's dumb. Even though Ratatosk is supposed to stay here. That's even more. Re that's even more. Uh, you know what? Screw it. This ending makes no sense. I just don't care anymore. That single act has led to all of this. Well, he's trying to atone for the fact that he killed. I don't killed care. Astrid, it makes no which sense. Is which, which is we, it doesn't because you know he he didn't seem to give two fucks that he killed Astor. At first, anyway, he's like, yeah, I killed him. Like oh, so ever, the, he's only just now starting to feel bad about it. The whole game, he's just like, I don't fucking care if humanity dies. I like how that, dies. It I like how that torch looks like he came from the first game. Should be allowed to live out his <laughs> no, no, Richter, Emil doesn't need to keep living. No, he can. I can. He can ride in here for all I care. <laughs> like you know, you, and you know, Richter. If you had the ability to separate a meal from Ratatosk, why are you waiting till now to do it? Because I felt like it. <laughs> Ra Rick, Ratatosk wants a meal to be Aster. I don't know. Um, I don't think he did. Would have wanted it this way. He was such an idealist. Eh. Hey, and by the way, you know Richter I had this all the time. Is... The fuck, man. No, this is, this is, no, this just happened now because Richter is taking Ratatosk inside of him so that Emil can be. So again, I just imagine um, he's like, I can be Marta for you if you want me to. It's like, how the fuck? Oh down, Jesus! <laughs> I'll Jesus! I'll explain it. I'll explain Jesus! It to you. Basically, basically, Richter is taking Emil's place to watch over the Ganunga Gaps. So well, that that's gonna haunt my nightmares a for a while. Thanks, Logic. What, and the whole want to do it thing earlier wasn't? So that's wasn't? Tales of Symphonia. Thanks, Logic. That's going to haunt my nightmare I hesitate for a while. to ask this, but final thoughts, people. You guys eh. go first, because I'm going to take forever. Sir? You go first. This is my All team. right. <laughs> like, I'll say, overall, if this were not connected to Tales of Symphonia, it would be a somewhat decent, if not really cheesy, Tales game. Like, I w it would be more acceptable, but I don't know. It's just because it tries continuing on the story, even though it was unnecessary to continue on the story of Symphonia, I'm all like, eh. I mean, it shows off, like, the repercussions of trying to bring the world back together, even though, like, Lloyd and the others are warned about it. So, like, in a way, it's still a terrible sequel, in my opinion, but... Logic, can I interrupt you for a second? All right. Uh, that piece of art we're seeing right there... I have to admit, I like the little truck ball that's eating on my meal's head. <laughs> <laughs> also, I, li also, okay, also, I like on. how I like how there's the Christmas reef right there when this is like. All right, go ahead. Anyway, sorry, I just want to bring that up. <laughs> yeah, finish up. Uh, well, pretty much what I was going to finish off with was, it's a decent, it's a decent game on its own, but it's a pretty damn terrible sequel to Tales of Symphonia One. Undoubtedly. As for me, first time I played this game, I was do I liked it. I still do. It's not the best game in the world. There's definitely massive flaws in it. After b this being the third or fourth, this being about the fourth time I've played Good through Lord, it, you played this game. Four I times. noticed more flaws in it than 
this being about the fourth time I played through it, it's I've noticed more flaws in it than the last couple of times. But it's still one of my it's it's one of the better games that we got on the Wii, especially for a JRPG, which at the time we weren't getting a lot of because apparently Ninten because apparently America hates JRPGs now. Except so and then still like that. Yeah, I was gonna say and then Zeno At least back when out. this game first came out. <laughs> At least back when this game first came <laughs> yeah, out. Now JRPGs are coming yeah, back. Yeah, thanks to Xenoblade. It was a decent. It was a decent entry. It wasn't perfect, but it wasn't terrible. And I can at least say that I enjoyed playing it. All right, here's the fun. Is it part. my turn? Is it my yeah. turn? Your turn. Man. <laughs> Fuck this game. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, okay, when you meant half a page, did you just take fuck this no, game? No, it's just it. No, I'm fun? not even. He's yeah, still going. I'm, I'm not even done. I'm sorry. No, I just wanted to get that out of the way. All right. But uh, before I start, oh, hey, before, it's I start new. before I start, I do like that concept art. Anyway, <clears throat> um, <laughs> from a game gameplay perspective, it plays fine. The issues I had with was the locked levels and equipment. That's bullshit. No matter what what kind of twist or what kind of twist of words you try to spin on it. No, don't ever do that again. I will murder you. Anyway. <laughs> 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 I will murder you. <laughs> I will fuck you with a rake. <laughs> I like right. that Abyss introdu introduced 3D movement in a Tales game. It adds a lot of depth to it. I don't mind that at all. I do feel that the Mystic Arts take way too long and are heavily drawn out to be worth anything. They, it, when, when it starts, it, I mean, when it ends, it's a simple whiteout that transitions to another whiteout upon victory. That, 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 that honestly feels lazy. Because even Abyss ended the battles right then and there, I think. At least I think they did. Yeah, I, I know what you mean. It's like, like they could have yeah, made it end yeah. as soon as the Mystic Art finished, but like it made it seem like the enemy's still alive. But then all of a sudden, yeah, yeah. And that's another. That's one thing I forgot to mention. The loading times in this game are yeah, terrible. extremely inconsistent. But that's not even my biggest issue. <laughs> the biggest issue is the pre is presentation. With both the cast and its story, it feels like it's honestly just there. Everybody, every single, per, every single character, every single veteran, they feel like they're just there. I mean, it shoves inconsistency down your throat, like it, like uh, that one picture of Ashley where Leon's shoving um, herbs down her throat. <laughs> <laughs> so you feel the same way with this game as. Johnny feels about Mega I mean, Man Five as it just kind of exists. It's, it, it, there's uh, the one thing that there's one thing that does bother me is the random shit with the Darius emblem. It's never brought up again afterwards, or how it changes the entire plot in the final chapter. By the way, never do that again. <laughs> it forces the player into situations that honestly, it feels like like it could have completely been avoidable if the characters just paused, thought, and used them common sense. Especially yeah, the exactly. Veterans. I mean, there's also many a time where traveling zone felt really, really pointless and served absolutely no reason for plot progression. The biggest offender is the Ice Temple and the Martell Temple. We had absolutely no reason to go there. Absolutely Great, none. Right? <sighs> I will argue that we had more of an... I will make the argument that there was a bit more of a reason to go into the Martell Temple than the Temple oh, of Ice. Oh, sure, but again, we, did you really have to... It wasn't enough of a reason to do it, but at least it, the reason was there. The Temple of Ice was literally there just because, hey, it was in the first game we needed to But did you really again. need to use the exact same layout as the first game? That's my big... That's my issue. No. If you're trying to be unique... No. If you're trying to be a, unique... That's a great make it, At least make it different. Don't just port it. Like this here, this like this entire town looks. By the way, anyway. Um. <laughs> oh, by the way, I'm back. Come back, bitches. All right, somebody just shoot. Somebody take a gun, just shoot him in the head. <laughs> anyway, where was I? Uh, Can I just throw a right. beer bottle at his head and be done with it? Yes. <laughs> Good. I got uh, three anyway, of them right here. Anyway, I mean, and all the game plays just fine. It's just the plot. It, the, however, I cannot defend the plot for the life of me. It's a piece of shit. Maybe. And it never want to see this kind of twist twist on the story ever again. If we're gonna introduce new characters and make up new themes, I'm just fine with that. However, 
if you're gonna do that, at least have them make sense and have characters actually mean something instead of just throwing it in. And just, just feeling like it's ham-fisted. Don't just throw in whatever you feel like just because it fit, just because you want to do it. Don't be like Kam. Don't be like he, don't be like um, Kamiya and just throw and with all his games just throw in random shit for no reason. Yeah. Uh, uh, I want to reference Metal Gear Rising, but then I get a hate. But then I get tons of hate mail. But anyway, <laughs> <laughs> you gotta go deeper than that. Honestly, I walked into this game expecting the whole theme of magic versus technology, like in the first game, because that was that was I thought that was pretty cool. I came up with a plot that played itself way too safe, that stuck with the basics with some half-hearted effort and presentation, and sometimes flat-out ignoring specific events th that the se that this game is a sequel of. A sequel should not ignore things that happened previously. A sequel should build on the foundations of what made the first game good to begin with. This yeah. honestly feels like a step backwards, regardless of what gameplay elements you add on to it. Yeah, I kind of agree with you there. I understand. Yeah, I get what you're saying completely. I mean... When it comes to RPGs, if your story it makes me quit not even halfway in due to me just being flat out bored, there is something very, very wrong. Especially when said game is bragging about being the sequel to one of the GameCube's best RPGs. Yeah. In short, the sequel is is a major letdown, and honestly, I can't recommend it to anyone. It should it be avoided at all. It's a sequel that's best forgotten and ignored, like Metal Gear Metal Gear 2 Snake's Revenge on the NES. Yeah. Nobody, nobody cares about that. <laughs> what I, I'm not, what I'm not done. It. If you have to play this game, what I'll say is, if you really want to play this game, play this game first and then play. So that the way, first it doesn't game. feel like such a huge disappointment. Because if you've played the first one before the second one, and go into the second one, you're like, what have they done to this? Uh, I wasn't done. <laughs> okay, I'm sorry. No, no, yeah, that, 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 ignore that. Anyway. This is a title you want to not. You don't want. It's, it's a title you want to look back on, not for replayability, but as a reminder of what can happen if you don't pay attention to your own source material. You get a game that in itself shouldn't even be a sequel to begin with. The game, fe honestly, to me, this game feels more like a cash grab on the Simonia name when the time has already passed than at trying to be an actual sequel and failing completely, failing up to even living up to that name. And while it's not the hmm. same thing. At least Sonic 06 is a bad game due to being buggy and having rushed development, having all kinds of issues with collision detection and everything. This game was built with the full intention of everything that was put into it, locked equipment and all. At least the stuff in Sonic 06 was unintentional. This was. This all of this this entire game completely intentional. That's why Not to mention the story that's what makes this terrible too. Yes. And that's what makes this a terrible game, in my opinion. Okay, I'm done. <laughs> All right. Well, I completely, I completely respect your opinion on that, and f and for what it's worth, thank you both for sitting through this let's play. I know it was a really, really long and tedious process, and I swear to God, next LP we do is not going to take. Almost an entire goddamn year for it's us. It's not to even get close through. because of Sonic Adventure. Yay! Yay! <laughs> yes. Next time you see us, we will be doing another Let's Play with that movie. Sonic recorded. Adventure. So look forward to that. Sweet. Because we're going backwards with that. We did Sonic Adventure two. Now we're doing Sonic Adventure. Also, 1. we're going to do Tales of Graces <laughs> at Future Arc. So see you guys. Yay! Wait, what? Bye.